How we doing everybody? Um, today we're going to talk about arrows. There's uh, a lot of things that uh, I hear people talking about that their bow doesn't shoot right or something's wrong or they're not being consistent and they don't know why or a lot of things and, and most of the problems people think um, either is themselves or is their bow. And in fact, it's it's it most of the time if your bow is set up correctly, you know you have a good pro shop, you get your bow set up correctly by them, and it's paper tuned and everything's how it needs to be. More times than not, it's going to be your arrows. Your arrows are a huge factor in consistency, accuracy, everything. So let's talk about uh, what arrows do for you. For one, I don't think a lot of people consider their arrows um, to contribute to the problems that they're having. And one of the, the things today, especially with the new bows that are coming out, is they're super fast. You know, the, um, I shoot a Halon 32, and I think the IBO rating is like 343. So, you know, it's that's it's th these new bows nowadays are moving, and one of the things that contributes to problems I have found is speed if you have a lot of speed um, sometimes you know your arrow just doesn't want to fly correctly and it, it's it's like uh, it's like have, shooting a rifle with uh, a low twist rate and a fast moving bullet that's too light it's not going to stabilize well the same goes for your arrows as well um, you want your arrows to stabilize in flight and make sure that they fly straight. And some of the things that, you know, contribute to that are the type of fletching you have on it. Um, is it a helical or is it straight or is it an offset? Does it have a wrap? Does it not have a wrap? Uh, all these things go in, into, into play. Um, is there weight in the front of your arrows? You know, the, these gold tips here... Uh, they actually have an insert where you can put weights in them and, and in, increase your FOC, which is your front of center. Um, and I think a lot of people, if you're not shooting, so say, past 50 yards, you're probably not going to notice a difference. Those guys that are out there shooting a little bit further, whether that's hunting or tournaments or just, or just messing around, once you start creeping out there to those little bit further distances, you're going to notice that... Uh, Playing with your FOC is definitely going to help uh, tighten your groups up, uh, make your arrows fly better as well, help buck the wind a little bit as well. So let's let's talk about some things here. Let, this arrow here, this is a 300 spine arrow from Gold Tip. Uh, there you go. This is their Hunter Pro series. This is a, a one of their more uh, expensive arrows on, that they have. Uh, it's 9.3 grains per inch. I do have uh, added uh, 30 grains up front. My total arrow weight with the wrap included is 475. And now, the reason why I bump my arrows up in weight is so that I can decrease my bow speed. I want my arrows to shoot around anything between 260 and 290. I prefer somewhere in the 280s. These ones here fly. <coughs> right around the mid 280s, 283, 284. Um, this here, this is a offset fletching. I, do, I, I really don't like it as much as I like my helical. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see this. See how that arrow is, or the uh, fletching is, is curved on there? That's a 3% helical, and this is an offset, which is the the fletching is put on at an angle not how do I explain that it's not curved so when you set a helical on it's got a curve to it with the uh, with the offset it's just got an angle to it um, and for me these don't uh, fly like I the helicals so the helical tends to fly a little bit better and however it also slows this arrow down a little bit more due to the spin rate. This arrow is going to spin a lot faster than a straight fletch or an offset. 
So there, there's a couple things that you can uh, mess with as well. Is you know, buy a fletching tool. They're not that expensive. It's like 35 bucks and some fletchings and mess around, see what you like. Um, I encourage it. I really do. It. You get to test things out. You don't have to go to the pro shop and wait around for your arrows to be fletching and do it yourself. So, and I think every every bow hunter or archer, I should say, should know how to fletch their own arrows as well. But uh, another thing I want to go over is the spine. A lot of people go into an archery shop and they just grab a couple arrows off the thing that they think are right and they go out the door. And, you, well, you know, you should check it out. Gold tip, I know there's other things on Google that you can search. I'm sure there's YouTube videos that have charts. Um, is a spine chart. Now, generally speaking, if you're shooting, let's say, a 65 to 70 pound draw, or draw, 65 to 70 pound uh, weight, you're probably going to want to run somewhere between a 300, maybe a 340, depending on how much weight you have up front. So, real quick, the more weight you add up to the front of your arrow, that is going to soften the spine which is more so the center of your arrow if you add weight to the rear it's going to stiffen your spine so for instance this arrow here has no uh, wrap on the back and it has 30 grains in uh, behind the insert this arrow has a wrap on it it's like 5.3 grains so that's going to stiffen my spine as well, I also have 30 grains in this one is this arrow here. So you're, you you got to mess around, see what works the best for you. Um, so far, keeping the weight out of the rear for me uh, and keeping the weight up front works the best with the helical. Uh, that's, that's a couple things you guys should check out. And I see a lot of guys buying you know, light weight arrows, you know, that... They're like seven and a half grains per inch. And I guess that's okay um, if you're not shooting very far. Maybe you're shooting from a tree stand. That's fine. You know, you're shooting 20 or 30 yards. But the reason why, another reason why I bump my arrows up and I suggest folks do as well is penetration. A heavy arrow is going to penetrate a lot better than a light arrow. And another factor to having a, a heavier front of center is this is going to pull the arrow through your target instead of being pushed through if you push something it's going to stop a lot sooner than if you were to pull something through it it's it's going to have that driving force behind it so go to your local archery shop and maybe uh, pick up some inserts that you can add weights to the rear and mess around with that and uh, see what works best for you. I shoot, I, I like to stay in that 470 grain mark. My setup is a Halon 32, uh, set at 72 pounds. I shoot a 470 grain arrow, and uh, I've had great results. I've, I've, uh, I've punched through some things, and I do tend to shoot a little bit further than most. Um, so check that out. But uh, that's, that's what we got today for this week. So check out your arrow spine. Check out your front of center. And try and if you're having problems with uh, inconsistent flight or your grouping is a little off, maybe your arrow is flexing too much as it's going uh, down range. So check out your arrows. Make sure that you uh, have the correct arrow spine for your, your setup. And maybe add a little bit of weight up front and see what happens play around with a little bit I think you guys will uh, you'll enjoy it I sure do I like messing with my arrows I change them probably every month but uh, so far that's the one I'm sticking with and uh, I think you guys will uh, see an improvement in your arrow flight if you have the correct arrow a little bit heavier slow your bow down and make sure that you got the right fletching uh, on your arrow it's a lot of arrows a lot of guys as well go to the, the shop and Pull them right out of the stands that have a straight fletch on them and you may shoot pretty good with a straight fletch but you throw a helical on there maybe an offset on there you 
may, you may shoot a lot better. So play around with your arrows, guys. Make sure you guys got the correct stuff and uh, see what happens. If you guys have any more questions or you want to leave some comments for us to do a video on anything in particular, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe our channel. We greatly appreciate you guys. Have a good week and good luck to you guys on your hunts.